Hello, friends. This book is called Pete the Kitty, Wash Your Hands by Kimberly and James Dean. Wash your hands, says Mom. Okay, says Pete the Kitty. I'm done. Pete's hands are not clean. I'll help you, says Bob. Watch me. Turn on the water, Bob says. Then wet your hands. Splish. Scrub your hands with soap. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Rinse your hands with water. Splash. Then dry your hands. Rub, rub, rub. Now you try it, Bob says. Splish. Scrub. Splash. Rub. Ta-da, says Pete. Great job, says Bob. We must wash our hands many times a day, says Bob. When, asks Pete, wash your hands after you play. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands when you throw trash away. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands before you eat. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands after a treat. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands when someone is sick. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands if you just have to pick. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands if you sneeze, cough, or blow. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. And please, wash your hands after you go. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. I've got it, says Pete. Thank you, Bob. Have fun, Bob says. Splish. Scrub, splash, rub. Did you wash your hands? Mom asks. Yes, says Pete. Keeping clean is good. The end. Hello, friends. Today we are going to read Pete the Cat Family Road Trip. Story written and illustrated by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete, Bob, Mom, and Dad are going on a road trip across the United States. Dad loads the bags onto the roof. Mom picks the music. Bob and Pete grab the bike. The first stop is Niagara Falls. They ride a boat to see the waterfall up close. Pete loves pretending he's the captain. Next stop is Boston. The family walks the Freedom Trail. They take a photo in front of Paul Revere's house. Historic and cool, says Bob. Now they are off to a new city. It's New York City. The family takes an elevator to the top of One World Trade Center. Look, it's the Statue of Liberty, says Dad. In Savannah, they ride a riverboat. Pete orders a slice of peach pie. Yum, says Pete. Life is good. When they arrive at Key West, Pete meets a six-toed cat. Your paws are groovy, says Pete. Right back at you, says the cat. New Orleans is famous for jazz music. The groovy jazz music makes everyone dance in the streets. Everyone is excited about the next stop. But then, uh-oh, the car gets a flat tire on Route 66. Don't worry, says Mom. We can't let this ruin our trip. Mom and Dad change the tire. Soon, the family is on their way again. Mom parks the car. Look over there, says Bob. It's Mount Rushmore. What a sight to see. 
the family stops to take a photo. At Yellowstone National Park, everyone unwinds. The park is so pretty and peaceful. Bob sees bison snacking on grass. Check out those horns, says Mom. Suddenly, Old Faithful shoots water high into the air. Cool, says Pete. Bob thinks it's time to try something different than a car ride. The family goes on a horse ride instead in Utah's Monument Valley. In Los Angeles, Pete checks out the Cat Hollywood Walk of Fame. Pete puts his paws in the paw prints. I feel like a star, he says. When they get to San Francisco, they all squeeze into a cable car. Pete stands in the front and says, toot toot. The last stop is Seattle. They go to the top of the Space Needle. Wow, says mom, this city is pretty at night. Finally, it's time to go home. We saw so many cool places, says Bob. What was your favorite part of the road trip, asks mom. Pete thinks long and hard. There were so many neat sights. The best part was being together with you all, says Pete. The end. Hello friends, today we are going to read Pete the Cat, Robo Pete, story written and illustrated by James Dean. What a great sunny morning. Pete can't wait to play baseball with his friends. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Larry. I can't, says Larry. I'm going to the library. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Callie. I was about to go for a bike ride says Callie. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks John. I can't right now, says John. I have to paint the fence. Pete wishes his friends would do what he wants to do. It's no fun playing catch all by himself. If only I knew an other me, Pete thinks. And like that, Pete has a great idea. Pete builds a robot. He programs it to be just like him. Welcome to the world, Robo Pete, Pete says to the robot. You're my new best friend. We'll do everything together. And I want to play catch, says Pete. Great idea, says Robo Pete. Pete and Robo Pete play catch. Wow, says Pete, running after the ball. You sure can throw far. Robo Pete throws farther and farther until... Oh, time out, says Pete as he tries to catch his breath. Let's play something else. I want to play whatever you want to play, Robo Pete says proudly. How about we play hide and seek, says Pete. That will be fun, says Robo Pete. Pete finds the best hiding place ever. He's sure Robo Pete will never find him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shouts Robo Pete. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha, shouts Robo Pete, tagging Pete. Hey, how did you find me, says Pete. With my homing device, says Robo Pete. I can find anyone, anywhere. Okay, enough hide and seek, says Pete. Let's play some guitar. Pete teaches Robo Pete how to play a song he made up. You have to feel the music, Pete explains. Okay, says Robo Pete. To feel it, I need to play loud, explains Robo Pete. Pete tries to stop Robo Pete, but Robo Pete can't hear him over the noise. This is fun, says Robo Pete. This is awful, says Pete the Cat. Okay, says Robo Pete. Let's ride our skateboards instead. Before Pete can answer, Robo Pete's feet transform into a motorized skateboard with super speedy wheels. Let's go, Robo Pete shouts. Wait, calls Pete. Pete chases after Robo Pete. He has no idea where Robo Pete is going. Robo Pete crashes into the sandbox at the playground. 
Are you okay? Pete asks his robot. I am a robot. I am indestructible, says Robo Pete. What is this strange place? It's a playground, says Pete. He waves to his friends. This is Robo Pete, Pete says to Callie, Larry, and John. I made him myself. Cool, says Larry. We are going to help John finish painting, says Callie. And then we are going bike riding. I want to go on the slide, interrupts Robo Pete. Robo Pete, I want to help my friends paint the fence, Pete tells his robot. Paint the fence, that would be great, Robo Pete says. I am programmed to paint faster than anyone. Pete and his friends try to help, but Robo Pete paints too fast. So instead, they ride bikes, and they read books, and after Robo Pete is done painting, they help him clean the brushes. Pete realizes that it doesn't matter what they do, just being with his friends is what makes it fun. The end.
Hello friends, today we're going to read Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had ten when they were done. Oh no. oh no! Hang on! Some of the cupcakes were no. gone! They were sure there had been ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count again? They counted the cupcakes, lined up straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there were only eight? It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes have disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh! More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes are now gone. Oh, no. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Oh, Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Oh, no. Everyone agreed that Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait. Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. The end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for many more super cool videos like this one.
Pete the Cat's Groovy Guide to Love Tips from a Cool Cat on How to Spread the Love by Kimberly and James Dean Love is a friendship set to music. Joseph Campbell Rock on! Pete, a loving heart was better and stronger than wisdom. Charles Dickens Loving school is cool. Pete. Love is space and time measured by the heart. Marcel Proust. Far out! Love is out of this world. Pete. Love yourself and everything else falls into line. Lucille Ball. I'm awesome. I'm groovy. Pete. Love is the greatest refreshment in life. Pablo Picasso. Cheers. Here's to love, Pete. At the touch of love, everyone becomes a poet. Plato. Roses are red. Pete is blue. Day and night, I love you, Pete. Love conquers all. Virgil. Love makes anything possible. Pete, where love is concerned, too much is not even enough. Pierre Beaumarchais, love big. Pete, love is the master key which opens the gates of happiness. Oliver Wendell Holmes, come on in. Pete, all you need is love. John Lennon and Paul McCartney, Morning, noon, and night, love is all right. Pete, the best thing to hold on to in life is each other. Audrey Hepburn, better together. Pete, let the beauty of what you love be what you do. Rumi, do more of what makes you happy, Pete. Friends show their love in times of trouble. Euripides, always stop to help your turtle friends. Pete, spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. Mother Teresa, be the reason someone smiles today. Pete, choose the job you love and you will never have to work. 
Confucius. Do what you love, Pete. Keep love in your heart. A life without it is like a sunless garden when the flowers are dead. Oscar Wilde. Love starts with me, Pete. Where there is love, there is life. Mahatma Gandhi. Love makes life groovy, Pete. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8. Love forgives. Pete, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Lao Tzu, love makes you brave. Pete, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I love you to infinity, Pete. The way to know life is to love many things. Vincent Van Gogh. A fun day is a good day, Pete. If you want to be loved, be lovable, Ovid. Sometimes the most unlikely friend is the coolest friend, Pete. The first duty of love is to listen, Paul Tillich. A cool friend is a good listener, Pete. May the sun shine all day long. Everything goes right and nothing wrong. May those you love bring love back to you. And may all the wishes you wish come true. The End favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Oh no, one of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Three! Four minus one equals three. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons. Ah! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Two! Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Oh, no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One! Two minus one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button, my button, my button, my one groovy button.
Hello, friends. Today we're going to read Pete the Cat's Groovy Imagination. Pete the Cat was happy. Today would be so much fun. Chilling out, catching vibes, sand, surfing, and lots of sun. But when Pete looked outside, he got down in the dump, sad. Dark clouds and pouring rain could make this good day turn bad. No. Pete didn't complain. He did not feel blue. Pete knew he could find something fun to do. Pete drew a cool picture. Pete strummed a little tune until he saw something too good to be true. Pete found a big box. He looked it up and down. He turned it side to side, and he spun it all around. The box was brown, and it was strong. The box was wide and tall. Maybe this wasn't just any box after all. This box rocks! The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. Maybe it was more than a box. Maybe it was more than it seemed. He closed his eyes and had an out-of-this-world dream. It was more than a box. It was a groovy rocket ship. Pete saw the moon on his outer space trip. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Pete was heading home. He landed, splash, in the sea. Pete had to think fast. Now what could this box be? The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. The box was now a yellow submarine. Pete dived way down into the sea. Pete wore his goggles to see the underwater scene. The submarine crashed when it reached land. Now the box was lying sideways in the sand. 
but what's a cat to do with the box that couldn't stand? The box was big, and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. And pretty soon, the box was not just a box lying on its side. It was a cool cat race car revving for a fast, fast ride. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Pete won the race just like that. Then, splat, the race car went flat. Now what good is a box that looks like a mat? The box was big and it was groovy. The box could be something new. Suddenly, Pete's imagination grew and grew and grew. Even though a flat box was not in the plan, Pete imagined it was a stage for his jamming rock band. Sometimes our plans just don't go right, but it doesn't mean the day can't be out of sight. If you use your imagination, you will see just how groovy your day can be. When you want to dream of something new, thinking outside the box is the grooviest thing to do. The end. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. The cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. 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 Oh, no. Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red shoes. 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 I love my red. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue! Did Pete cry? He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. 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 I love. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown 
and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White! But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes. 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 The moral of Pete's story is. No matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song, because it's all good. Street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school, and he sings this song. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Pete is sitting at his desk when his teacher says, "Come on, Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall." Where is Pete going? The library. Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness no! He finds his favorite book and sings his song. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. Check out Pete. He's ready to eat. In a big noisy room with tables and seats, where is Pete? The lunchroom. It can be loud and busy in the lunchroom. Does Pete worry? Goodness no! He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. And his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is Pete? The playground. Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness no. He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing. In my school shoes, I'm playing. In my school shoes, I'm playing. In my school shoes, all day long, Pete sings his song. I'm singing in my school shoes. I'm painting. Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asks him, 
What did you do at school today? And Pete says, I was rocking in my school shoes. 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 But I will do it again tomorrow because. It's all good. Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Hello, friends. This book is called Pete the Cat Super Pete. Pete the Cat is out for a walk. Pete listens to owls. He listens to the frogs. Just then, Pete hears a beach. It is not coming from outside. It is coming from his watch. Pete races home. It is time for Pete the cat to become Super Pete. Pete presses a button in his room. The wall slides away. Pete sees a set of steps. Down, down, down he goes. Pete steps into his lair. It is full of groovy things to help him fight crime. Pete the cat puts on his awesome cat suit. He puts on his cape and his sneakers. Now, Super Pete is ready to save the city. Pete sees a flashing light. There is a message on his computer. It is the mayor. Come quick, Super Pete, the mayor says. We need your help. There is trouble at the warehouse. Pete pulls a lever. Whoosh! Pete's nifty jet sinks into his lair. Pete hops into the jet. He zips into the air. Super Pete is on his way to save the day. Pete races through the sky. He hits a button. The jet shimmers. The jet disappears. Now, the jet is invisible. No one will know Super Pete is coming. Pete hovers over the warehouse. He straps on a parachute. He jumps. Pete lands on the roof. He goes inside the warehouse. It is dark. He cannot see. Pete puts on his night vision goggles. He sees two bad guys. They are carrying a box. Pete picks up a rock. He puts it in his slingshot. The rock hits the box. The bad guys drop the box. They climb out a window. Pete races to the window. The bad guys have a boat. They are getting away. Pete pushes a button on his cat suit. His sneakers turn to flippers. A mask closes over his face. Pete jumps into the water. He swims after the bad guys. Pete takes a rope from his pocket. He twirls it over his head. Pete aims. He throws. The rope catches the boat. Pete pulls himself along the rope. Pete climbs into the bad guy's boat. He ties up the bad guys. Pete pushes a button on his watch. His jet appears above him. Pete pulls the bad guys into his jet. Pete brings the bad guys to the mayor. Super Pete saved the day! The end. day before Christmas, and Santa was ill. In the cold winter wind, he had caught a bad chill. Will Christmas be canceled? Will it come to that? Never, cried Santa. Let's call Pete the Cat. Santa asked Pete to deliver the toys to all the good girls and to all the good boys. 
I'll do it, said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give. So I'll give it my all. Give it your all. jumped in his mini bus and started to roll. Road trip, cried Pete. First stop, the North Pole. The reindeer were waiting to give Pete a tow. So he packed up the presents and told them to go. Then the mini bus flew, just like in a movie. Pete the cat cried, this is totally groovy. I can do it, said Pete. And although I am small, at Christmas we give, so I'll give it my all. Give it your all. reindeer appeared overhead straight down the chimney pete flew in a dash then back in his minibus quick as a flash each time he delivered a holiday gift he crossed off a name written on santa's list santa's list was so big and pete felt so small but at christmas we give so he gave it his all at the very last minute, they reached the last house. Pete dashed in and out just as quiet as a mouse. Then right at the break of the new Christmas day, Pete and his reindeer were flying away. Back at the North Pole, old Santa was waiting. The elves and the town folk were all celebrating. Santa was dressed in his red coat and hat and cried, hip, hip, hooray for our friend Pete the Cat. I did it, said Pete, and although I am small, in the spirit of Christmas, I gave it my all. Give it your all. Give it your all. At Christmas we give. So give it your all. Give it your all. Give it your all. Friends, in this book, Pete the Kitty and the Unicorn's Missing Colors, you'll be going on a fun adventure. Are you ready to read? Here we go! Pete sees his friend Stevie the Unicorn at the playground. Stevie looks sad. Hi, Stevie, says Pete. What's wrong? The Magic Unicorn Dance Party is tonight, says Stevie. But I lost all the colors in my rainbow tail. I can help, says Pete. We can use my magic paintbrush. Where did you last see your colors? Pete asks. Um, Stevie says. When I was playing in the park. The park is very big. Stevie looks worried. We'll never find my colors before the dance party, Stevie says. Which colors are you missing? asks Pete. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple are gone, Stevie says. 
Look! Pete points his magic brush at a berry patch. Let's borrow some red. Pop! A magic red blaze appears in Stevie's tail. Wow! Says Stevie. Now we know what to do, says Pete. Great! Says Stevie. Do green next. Green is everywhere, says Pete. The grass is green. The trees are green. Pop! Stevie's tail gets a green blaze. Stevie prances. That butterfly is yellow, says Pete. Pop! Stevie's tail gets a yellow blaze. Hurry, Pete, says Stevie. Three more colors to go. This flower is orange, says Pete. Pop! Stevie's tail gets an orange blaze. Keep going, Pete, Stevie says. The party starts soon. The lake is blue, Pete says. Pop! Stevie's tail gets a blue blaze. One more left, says Stevie. The clouds are purple, shouts Pete. Pop! Stevie's tail gets a purple blaze. Yay! Pete and Stevie cheer. Stevie jumps for joy. Pete found all the missing colors. I love my rainbow tail, says Stevie. Come with me to the party. Stevie and Pete dance at the Magic Unicorn Dance Party. Stevie's rainbow tail is a big hit. <laughs> Thanks, Pete, says Stevie. It's cool to help friends, says Pete. The end. Hello friends, today we are going to read Pete the Cat, Firefighter Pete, story written and illustrated by James Dean. We are going on a class trip today, says Principal Nancy. She leads the class to a bright yellow bus. I wonder where we are going, says Pete. They are going to visit the firehouse today. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Pete and his classmates are excited. The firehouse is huge. It's so big it can hold two long red fire trucks and all of the firefighters' equipment. The firefighters show the kids around. They give everyone a turn to ring the old brass fire bell outside the firehouse. Then all the kids take turns sliding down the firefighter's pole. Whee! Callie yells as she glides down. The firefighters allow the kids to try on their gear. Firefighters wear a lot of equipment. First, Pete puts on the heavy black overalls. Then he steps into the tall black boots. A firefighter helps. Pete puts on the heavy yellow jacket. Finally, they place a hard black helmet on Pete's head. All this gear is very heavy. Pete can barely move. The firefighters allow the kids to explore one of the fire trucks. Callie sits in the driver's seat. She presses the horn. It's so loud that all the kids cover their ears. Then Pete turns on the sirens and lights. The sirens blare. Woo! The lights flash red and yellow. Suddenly, a loud bell rings in the firehouse. Uh-oh, it's the fire alarm. There's a fire in town. Gear up, Pete. The firefighters scramble into their gear very quickly. Pete puts on his gear too. They all climb aboard the fire truck and turn on the siren and lights. Firefighter Pete and the firefighters are on their way. Woo! The fire engine races through town and the lights flash round and round. A firefighter presses the horn. Burr! All the other cars move out of the way. There's the fire. It's hot and loud, but the firefighters know exactly what to do. 
They work together as a team to connect the fire truck to the fire hydrant. Then the firefighters also attach a long heavy hose to the truck. Firefighter Pete gives the signal and the firefighters turn on the water. Whoosh! The water gushes out very fast. Several firefighters must hold the hose to control it. Pete helps direct the hose as they spray the fire with water. The fire is starting to go out. There's smoke everywhere. Suddenly, Pete hears yelling from the roof. Oh no! It's Grumpy Toad! He needs to be rescued! The firefighters raise a long ladder from the truck. Crank, crank, crank! The ladder goes up and up and up. Firefighter Pete and another firefighter help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Yay! The fire is out and everyone is safe. The firefighters drive back to the firehouse. They take off all their gear. They pat Pete on the back and say, Firefighter Pete helped save the day. Good job, Pete. The end. Hello friends, get ready to learn with Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat thinks the alphabet is super cool. So today, Pete and his friends are going to help you learn all 26 letters. Wow, that's a lot. But we'll make it easier by singing a song. Are you ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Wow, that was awesome. Wanna sing the song again? Let's go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P Q, R, S, T, U, V W, X, Y, and Z Now you know your ABCs Next time won't you sing with me? Totally radical! I think you're getting it! One more time! A, B, C, D, E, F, G H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P Q, R, S, T, U, V W, X, Y, and Z Now you know your ABCs Next time won't you sing with me? Isn't this fun? The alphabet is so cool! Let's go again! A, B, C, D, E, F, G H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P Q, R, S, T, U, V W, X, Y, and Z Now you know your ABCs Next time won't you sing with me? I think you're getting the hang of it! One more time! That's the spirit. Let's go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P Q, R, S, T, U, V W, X, Y, and Z Now you know your A
Don't you like singing along with Pete and his friends? I do too. Let's do it again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Gee, this is a good time. Learning can be so much fun. Let's do one more. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? The alphabet really makes a sweet song, doesn't it? How about one last time? Yeah, let's do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you Great job! Now you totally know your ABCs. The whole alphabet. Wow, that was so groovy. Thanks for learning with Pete the Cat. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Pete the Cat, Valentine's Day is Cool by Kimberly and James Dean. It was the day before Valentine's Day, and Pete was riding his skateboard home when he saw his friend Callie. She was holding a big red heart that said, Love. Have you finished your Valentine's Day cards? asked Callie. No, Valentine's Day is not cool, Pete said. Oh, Pete, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. It's the day to tell people how special they are to you, Kelly insisted. Pete skated on, but something in the back of his mind told him that Kelly might be right. By the time Pete got home, he had decided that Kelly was right about Valentine's Day. So he got out his pencils, paper, crayons, markers, and sat down at the kitchen table. First, Pete started to work on a card for his friend Larry. Pete made several cards with big red hearts, but he was not happy with his work. Pete wanted to make the perfect cards for every cat in his class. I'll never get all these cards done in time, Pete told his mom. Pete's mom smiled. Just do your best, she said. Just tell Larry why he is cool. There is something cool about every cat. Pete got back to work. He thought hard what was cool about Larry. To Larry, happy Valentine's Day, from Pete. Perfect, Pete said. After that, it didn't take Pete long to make cards for all the boys. To Josh, to Trey, to Rob, to John. Then, Pete made special cards for all the girls and wrote Love Pete on each one. And of course, he made the biggest heart-shaped card for his mom. The next day, Pete and Callie waited for the bus together. I decided you were right. Valentine's Day is cool. That's awesome, Callie said. By the way, I am having a Valentine's Day party at my house after school if you want to come. The bus pulled up then, and Pete and Callie got on. 
Mr. Ted, the bus driver, smiled and said good morning. But as soon as they were in their seats, Pete put his head in his paws. What's wrong? Callie asked. I forgot to make a card for Mr. Ted, he cried. Then Pete thought, but I can make him an awesome card before we get to school. Pete pulled out a piece of paper and colorful pencil from his backpack. He began to draw. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for picking us up every day for school, Pete and Callie said as they handed Mr. Ted his Valentine. Thank you, Mr. Ted told them. You just made my day. What about Mrs. Gold, the crossing guard? We need to make her a Valentine too. Pete practically shouted. Let's do it, Callie said. Let's make Valentines for everyone. Pete and Callie got super busy making cards for everyone. To Mrs. Gold, Happy Valentine's Day to the police, Happy Valentine's Day to the firemen, Happy Valentine's Day to the librarian. After school, Pete went to Callie's party. He rang the bell and then he froze. Callie opened the door only to find her friend in a panic. What's wrong, Pete? I forgot something very important, Pete admitted. What? Callie asked. I just realized I forgot to make a card for you, Pete said. That's okay. Pete, cards are just a way of showing you care. Hanging out with you, that's way better than any card. This is the best Valentine's Day ever. And happy Valentine's Day to you. Love, Pete. The End Kitty Cat! Kitty Cat! Pete the Cat and the New Guy It was Sunday and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when... Beep, beep, beep! There was a noise coming from across the street. Wise old owl had a view from his tree. Pete said, Hey owl, what do you see? Owl said, All I see are green shoes and a red hat. Pete answered, Sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by and by. Until finally, Pete got to meet the new guy. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and like a beaver, too. The new guy said to Pete, Hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus. Pete said, You're not like me, and I am not like you. But I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. Hi, Gus, said Squirrel. Climbing is easy. Try and see. Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you. But climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend Grumpy Toad, who said, Come play leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see. Gus jumped and leaped, but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. 
I wish I could jump like you. But jumping is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Soon they saw Octopus, who said, Come juggle with me. Juggling is easy. Try and see. I wish I could juggle like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Gus said, I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. On Saturday, Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something we could do. Just then, Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet! Pete said, check out Gus the platypus. He found something cool he can do with us. He's not sad. He's not blue. Gus found something that everyone can do. The end. Thanks for watching. Hello friends, today we are going to read Pete the Cat, Robo Pete, story written and illustrated by James Dean. What a great sunny morning. Pete can't wait to play baseball with his friends. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Larry. I can't, says Larry. I'm going to the library. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Callie. I was about to go for a bike ride says Callie. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks John. I can't right now, says John. I have to paint the fence. Pete wishes his friends would do what he wants to do. It's no fun playing catch all by himself. If only I knew an other me, Pete thinks. And like that, Pete has a great idea. Pete builds a robot. He programs it to be just like him. Welcome to the world, Robo Pete, Pete says to the robot. You're my new best friend. We'll do everything together. And I want to play catch, says Pete. Great idea, says Robo Pete. Pete and Robo Pete play catch. Wow, says Pete, running after the ball. You sure can throw far. Robo Pete throws farther and farther until... Oh, time out, says Pete as he tries to catch his breath. Let's play something else. I want to play whatever you want to play, Robo Pete says proudly. How about we play hide and seek, says Pete. That will be fun, says Robo Pete. Pete finds the best hiding place ever. He's sure Robo Pete will never find him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, shouts Robo Pete. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha, shouts Robo Pete, tagging Pete. Hey, how did you find me, says Pete. With my homing device, says Robo Pete. I can find anyone, anywhere. Okay, enough hide and seek, says Pete. Let's play some guitar. Pete teaches Robo Pete how to play a song he made up. You have to feel the music, Pete explains. Okay, says Robo Pete. To feel it, I need to play loud, explains Robo Pete. Pete tries to stop Robo Pete, but Robo Pete can't hear him over the noise. 
This is fun, says Robo Pete. This is awful, says Pete the Cat. Okay, says Robo Pete. Let's ride our skateboards instead. Before Pete can answer, Robo Pete's feet transform into a motorized skateboard with super speedy wheels. Let's go, Robo Pete shouts. Wait, calls Pete. Pete chases after Robo Pete. He has no idea where Robo Pete is going. Robo Pete crashes into the sandbox at the playground. Are you okay? Pete asks his robot. I am a robot. I am indestructible, says Robo Pete. What is this strange place? It's a playground, says Pete. He waves to his friends. This is Robo Pete, Pete says to Callie, Larry, and John. I made him myself. Cool, says Larry. We are going to help John finish painting, says Callie. And then we are going bike riding. I want to go on the slide, interrupts Robo Pete. Robo Pete, I want to help my friends paint the fence, Pete tells his robot. Paint the fence, that would be great, Robo Pete says. I am programmed to paint faster than anyone. Pete and his friends try to help, but Robo Pete paints too fast. So instead, they ride bikes and they read books. And after Robo Pete is done painting, they help him clean the brushes. Pete realizes that it doesn't matter what they do. Just being with his friends is what makes it fun. The end. Hello friends, today we are going to read Pete the Cat Family Road Trip, story written and illustrated by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete, Bob, Mom and Dad are going on a road trip across the United States. Dad loads the bags onto the roof. Mom picks the music. Bob and Pete grab the bike. The first stop is Niagara Falls. They ride a boat to see the waterfall up close. Pete loves pretending he's the captain. Next stop is Boston. The family walks the Freedom Trail. They take a photo in front of Paul Revere's house. Historic and cool, says Bob. Now they are off to a new city. It's New York City. The family takes an elevator to the top of One World Trade Center. Look, it's the Statue of Liberty, says Dad. In Savannah, they ride a riverboat. Pete orders a slice of peach pie. Yum, says Pete. Life is good. When they arrive at Key West, Pete meets a six-toed cat. Your paws are groovy, says Pete. Right back at you, says the cat. New Orleans is famous for jazz music. The groovy jazz music makes everyone dance in the streets. Everyone is excited about the next stop. But then, uh-oh, the car gets a flat tire on Route 66. Don't worry, says Mom. We can't let this ruin our trip. Mom and Dad change the tire. Soon, the family is on their way again. Mom parks the car. Look over there, says Bob. It's Mount Rushmore. What a sight to see. The family stops to take a photo. At Yellowstone National Park, everyone unwinds. The park is so pretty and peaceful. Bob sees bison snacking on grass. Check out those horns, says Mom. Suddenly, Old Faithful shoots water high into the air. Cool, says Pete. Bob thinks it's time to try something different than a car ride. The family goes on a horse ride instead in Utah's Monument Valley. In Los Angeles, Pete checks out the Cat Hollywood Walk of Fame. Pete puts his paws in the paw prints. I feel like a star, he says. When they get to San Francisco, they all squeeze into a cable car. 
Pete stands in the front and says, Toot toot! The last stop is Seattle. They go to the top of the Space Needle. Wow, says Mom. This city is pretty at night. Finally, it's time to go home. We saw so many cool places, says Bob. What was your favorite part of the road trip, asks Mom. Pete thinks long and hard. There were so many neat sights. The best part was being together with you all, says Pete. The end. Friends, this book is called Pete the Kitty, Wash Your Hands by Kimberly and James Dean. Wash your hands, says Mom. Okay, says Pete the Kitty. I'm done. Pete's hands are not clean. I'll help you, says Bob. Watch me. Turn on the water, Bob says. Then wet your hands. Splish! Scrub your hands with soap. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Rinse your hands with water. Splash! Then dry your hands. Rub, rub, rub. Now you try it, Bob says. Splish! Scrub, splash, rub. Ta-da! says Pete. Great job, says Bob. We must wash our hands many times a day, says Bob. When, asks Pete, wash your hands after you play. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands when you throw trash away. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands before you eat. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands after a treat. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands when someone is sick. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands if you just have to pick. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. Wash your hands if you sneeze, cough, or blow. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. And please, wash your hands after you go. Splish, scrub, splash, rub. I've got it, says Pete. Thank you, Bob. Have fun, Bob says. Splish. Scrub, splash, rub. Did you wash your hands? Mom asks. Yes, says Pete. Keeping clean is good. The end. Kitty cat!